everybody, Rick Needham, handicapping thoroughbred racing on Saturday afternoon, March the 10th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct Ozone Park, New York, first for one of two stake races on their card today, race four, 1.52 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is a Cicada Stake, six for long sprint on Aqueduct's winterized interior track. Three-year-old fillies racing for a stakes prize of some $150,000. Contenders number two, Agave Kiss. Number five, Corderosa. Number three, Nitara. And number four, Princess Rihanna. For you folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts today, Cicada was bred by Mrs. M.N. Sarian, owned by Meadow Stables and trained by J.H. Hayes. She was voted the champion two-year-old filly in 1961, the champion three-year-old filly in 1962, and the champion handicap filly or mare in 1963. As a two-year-old, she won such stake races as the Gardenia, the Frisette, the Asterita, the Matron, the Spinaway, the Schulerville, the National Stallion Stakes, and the Blue Hen. In her three-year-old year, she captured the Jersey Bell, the Bell Dom, the Mother Goose, the Acorn, the Kentucky Oaks, and the Oaks Prep. She returned as a four-year-old, victorious in the Sheep's Head Bay Handicap, the Vagrancy, the Distaff Handicap, and the Columbiana Handicap. Here in the 20th renewal of the stakes test, number two, Agave Kiss, Exceptional early speed to complement for this inner track sprint is the pace profile leader is undefeated in the three race career to date, winning twice in power run fashion. Jockey Ryan Curatolo was in her irons for on all three occasions, leading to a positive three hundred and ninety percent profit in the process. It's back today for his fourth ride gunning for a Grand Slam win. Number five, Corderosa, the overall speed leader in this field, has hit the board in power run fashion in each of her three career starts to date, including a power run win to break her maiden in her first asking. Race four summary, number two, Agave Kiss, tops of my contenders list today, which also includes number five, Corderosa, number three, Nitara, and number four, Princess Rihanna, two, five, three, four, and the fourth from Aqueduct, the $150,000 Cicada Stakes. Let's go to Gulfstream Park in South Florida for their big feature on the card, Race 8, 4.35 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Gulfstream Park Handicap Mile Test on the Dirt, Grade 2, 4 year olds and up, Race 4, $300,000. Contenders, number one, Mucho Macho Man, number six, Jackson Bend, number four, Soaring Stocks, and number two, Tackleberry. Number one, Mucho Macho Man, the pace profile leader in this stakes field, racing at today's distance of a mile on the dirt, comes off back-to-back -back power run wins in his last two outings. Gets a return ride from jockey Ramon Dominguez for the Saturday feature here at Gulfstream Park. Dominguez was in his irons for those two wins, guns for a hat-trick victory today. Number six, Jackson Ben, the overall speed leader in this field, has hit the board in power run fashion in five straight including a trio of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Race 8 summary, number 1, Mucho Macho Man, tops my contenders list this afternoon, which also includes number 6, Jackson Bend, number 4, Soaring Stocks, and number 2, Tackleberry, 1642, and the 8th from Gulfstream, the $300,000 Grade 2 Gulfstream Park Handicap. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race eight, the six to one shot. Number two, just for real, drops in classes, the speed leader in its allowance field, racing at six and a half furlongs on the dirt. Turf Paradise, race six, number three, Lang Field, four to one in the morning line, the overall speed leader in this claiming field, racing at today's distance of one mile on the dirt. So handicapping from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park on a Stakesville Saturday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.